Today I want to show you the basic essentials you need to use about 90% of ASH design templates. If you can use our clipping masks and can resize your images, you'll be able to use um, all of our collage templates in addition to all of our uh, cards and photo books and pretty much anything else. So I have a photo book page open. This could be, like I said, 90% of our templates work this way. And so if you can do these couple of things, you'll be set to go. So I have my template open in Photoshop, and as you can see over here in my layers palette, I have a photo layer in addition to other layers. I'm going to select my photo layer, and you can tell it's selected because it's blue. I'm then going to come up to my image, and I have my selection tool, and so I'm just going to drag my image over to my template, and I'll drop it in here, and you can see it fills the whole thing. It's right on the top. The next step is to use the clipping mask, and there are a couple of ways to do this. You can see my image in my layer is directly over my photo layer. If it wasn't, it's okay. You can still move those layers around and drag it wherever you want, but you do want your image to be over your photo layer. And then you want to create a clipping mask. And you can do that by going layer, create clipping mask, and you can see it's just going to clip my image directly into that photo layer box, and it puts it right in there. I'm going to undo that for just a second and show you the shortcut that I use to do that is I hold down on my Option or Alt key and then I put my mouse right between those two layers and when you see that little double circle, if you'll click, it does the same thing and creates that clipping mask. Now that my image is in there, I can move it around and position it wherever I want but it's going to stay with inside that box. So that is the first thing that you need to know to use the templates. The next thing you need to know is how to resize the image because while this image actually might work in here, a lot of times you need to make your image smaller to fit into the box. To do that, with your image selected in your layers palette, you're going to go to Edit, Transform, or Free Transform, or Command or Control T will also do that. So if I'm out here, I'll just hit my Command or Control T and what's going to happen is, I can't even see it on here, but if I zoom out, it puts this, this is where my image actually goes, this is how large my image is. If you hold down your shift key, you can drag from the corner to change the size of your image. Now it's very important that you hold down on the shift key when you change the size of your image to keep your proportions. However, if for whatever reason you didn't hold down on the shift key or something and you get off, can see here my image is all out of proportions. Uh, you just come up here to the very top and you can see it's 48% by 58%. If I just click this little lock right here, it's going to put it back into proportions for me and then it's going to hold those proportions as well. So you can size by dragging or you can size by putting a number in that width and height to get what you want. So let me just zoom back in here a little bit. And then you'll just size your image to whatever you want for your image box. And whenever you're happy with um, the size and the positioning of your image, you'll just hit enter or return to set that. And then you've added your image to the template. In this case, I'm working with a photo book page, so I would just save this out as a JPEG file, and I'd be ready to upload that into my photo book.